the equivocal number from the 1860s for 40 acres today is $200 million for each and every African American. Like before, it's always hard for me to comment on clips that are very clipped out and very clickbaity, sound bitey like this because you don't know the context of what he's talking about, right? And I always have a problem with these open forums because of the way they're set up, right? These people are given maybe two minutes to talk, to present very complex and nuanced ideas to a, a mass of people. So it seems the city council is proposing a reparation talks somewhere in California and these people are here to give their opinion. Let's see what they have to say. The equivocal number from the 1860s for 40 acres today is $200 million for each and every African American. Do you really think the government finna cut every black person in America $200 million check? If they are, man, I'm with y'all. Let's go. What are we talking about? Hey. <laughs> yeah, let's go. We getting checks? $200 million? Hey. Kid and play when you, hey, when that high top fair, when you get them things rolling? I let your boy. Cause it's not gonna happen. You think that they're gonna give 200 million. You're not supposed to be afraid. You're not supposed to be afraid. You're just supposed to tell the truth. You're not supposed to be the gatekeeper. Oh right, yeah, for real. Hey, my man spin bars. This is the truth right here. Hey, I have not agreed with anything he said yet, but this little bar right here, you're just supposed to tell the yeah, truth. I'm doing. You're not supposed I'm to you be the, the gatekeeper. I'm gonna tell you the truth. You're supposed to say what the people want and hear from. All right. <clears throat> like before, it's always hard for me to comment on clips that are very clipped out and very clickbaity, sound bitey like this because you don't know the context of what he's talking about, right? And I always have a problem with these open forums because of the way they're set up, right? These people are given maybe two minutes to talk, to present very complex and nuanced ideas to a, a mass of people who half the time are texting, not paying attention, don't care, have their own agendas. So it's a very, very, very lip servicey uh, you know, kind of move from the community. So I always am very, very cautious of these kind of situations because what it's gonna do is, it's gonna generate a bunch of sound bites that kind of sound like this, crazy, wild, out of there, right? So now Fox News, CNN, MSNBC, they can clip those little things and they can get it out of context, right? And that's the problem with these kind of forums. It, it, it's almost like it's sabotaging the mission before whatever if you had if this was your mission you just kind of sabotaged it before it even started because you're not giving these people any chance to really present any kind of real ideas you get this guy up there he's got his you know high school uh jacket on you know his letterman on and he's got his high top fade he, he just got his recent dye job in uh, his beijing uh, and i'm not trying to go in or anything on him but you know He's yelling at the top of his lung, 200 million, da, 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 da. the people in the back are like, what the hell is this dude talking about? You don't want a session like this to determine the outcome of something that you feel is that important because what it's doing is it's trivializing. It's making it seem like, oh, it's not something serious. These people just, they just come to talk, yell, we'll give them a couple minutes, and spit it out. Pretend like we heard and we go, oh, we did consider reparations that one year. 
Yeah, you did. You give these people a bunch of lip service, that's never gonna happen. The equivocal number from the 1860s for 40 acres today is 200 million. Because you know if he was spitting bars, people would be clapping and stuff. But you know he wasn't spitting nothing because like everybody was like, you think that you just, you just, you just came in here and made us all look ridiculous. Because you asked for 200 million, we can't even get... Uh, you know, a tic tac on the vending machines. Yeah, like you, you, you out here wilding, bro. Because the truth is, how would you even begin to start reparations, right? Is it for foundational Black Americans in this country, which they consider themselves like uh, uh, the descendants of the actual slaves, right? That were brought here. So that would exclude Africans who weren't born in this country, like myself. Right? Would it include exclude brown folks, Latino folks? Would it just be a black, you know, foundation of black Americans thing? Would it, you know, how how does this get parsed out? These people don't get to talk about these kind of things on these on these forums. What they do is they bring you up there, you get to yell two hundred million, and you get to yeah, that's what we owe forty acres and a mule. You know, like if you're still saying forty acres and a mule, you're not bringing out steps, plans to do stuff, you're not getting this stuff done. Like, I, I hate to, t I hate to, t I hate to tell you this, but, yo, this movement ain't moving. It's been at the same place it's been since, since it was brought up. It was lip service then, it's lip service now. When you realize that, you can move accordingly. And whenever you, they give you these forums, you bring a collective of people together. You don't say, you random letterman, you you bring a, a few people together. If they say, we're only gonna give you two minutes, then you strategize. You go, okay, we have a 10 minute speech. You, you do two minutes, you do two minutes, you, and you break it down. So now the audience, the, they have a consistent view, they have a, much more, you know, you can plan it out, you can do whatever you need to, but when you do things like this, he could have meant, okay, 200 million, but then you break that down over this, and then you gotta, you know, parse it out, and then it's paid over years, and then part of that money is taken and given to a school as an endowment for black communities, and then it's taken down to the, you know, like, you don't have the opportunity to do that when all you're doing is getting sound bites, and that's the problem. That's why these kind of things are destined to fail. And this is why I feel like the people who set it up know that. They're setting you up to fail. They're setting you up usually on short notice when they're hoping the turnout is low. So they're usually set it on like a Friday or Wednesday. This is just simple bureaucratic things. They want to do it low turnout. They don't want, you know, a if you do a Friday night, they've got things to do. Nobody's going to want to come. Maybe you do it, you know, when they have... It's it's just strategy. You have to, you know, you have to think ahead. And this is the problem with a lot of these movements is there's nobody strategizing any of this stuff. There's nobody looking ahead, looking forward, trying to figure out the next step and say, okay, if we're here right now, how do we get there? How do we move here? How do, you know, there's nobody doing that. So gonna end up with local number from the 1860s for 40 acres today is 200 million <laughs> I might need to clip that and make that on the soundboard look at my man right here right that's pretty much how everybody that's going to watch this is going to react. Just look at the guy right behind them. Look at his face. Not it's this guy. Two Who's this guy? hundred million dollars. <laughs> this guy's talking next to me. All right. Cool. All right. Well, this was the episode i want to thank you guys for watching i appreciate you guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe
appreciate you. It's your boy, Ty. And I'm out.